MSI, your current gym of boards are surprisingly good. Then why do you have to make things so complicated by releasing both an MSI Pro Z790A and an MSI Pro Z790P? Two motherboards that on the surface look nearly identical, yet have some key differences that you may want to watch out for. And starting off with CPU power, as usual, the P variant has 14 plus 1 plus 1 power phases running at 55 amps, which while a noticeable downgrade from the MSI Pro A and pretty lacking compared to many other Z790 boards, but it is still going to be enough for the average user and something that you probably won't notice unless you're trying to, you know, take your 1300K to the limits. And seeing how this motherboard still keeps the two full 8 pins for CPU power, well, that should keep your CPU still mighty fed despite the VRM downgrade. And moving down to PCIe expansion here, things are pretty much identical to the Pro A, with a primary PCIe Gen 5 16x slot, two more physical 16x slots, a 1x slot, and whopping four M.2 slots, with all of those PCIe slots running at the exact same bandwidth as the Pro A, with the only real difference here being that they aren't as liberal with including M.2 heatsinks, so you're gonna have to provide your own. Though seeing how most type performance NVMEs kind of come with their own nowadays, well, I don't think that's gonna be much of a problem for most people. Finally, moving on to rear I.O. here, things are also pretty much the same. You once again have a whopping seven USB Type A ports, with four of them being USB Gen 2, compared to the two on the Pro A. Now, while that should be enough for most normal people, if you do actually need more than seven, there are other boards like the ones from Gigabyte and Eurus that provide you with even more, so that's always an option. But sticking to this motherboard for now, the rest of the rear I.O. is also pretty good, with a lightning fast 20 gigabit USB Type-C port, 2.5 gig Ethernet Wi-Fi 6E, both integrated HDMI and DisplayPort, and ooh, look at that, even a PS2 port, something that MSI decided to opt out of for the A variant. So I'm very glad that it's alive and well on this motherboard, even if, let's be honest, barely anyone's gonna use it. Now the other thing that's different to the Pro Z790A is the audio, because while well, on there you have optical spinif, on here you do not, and instead you get yet another 3.5mm audio jack. Not to mention the fact that the rear IO shield isn't attached here compared to the Pro A variant, which I have no idea how that's acceptable nowadays, but like, oh well, it only takes like 5 minutes, it's just kind of, you know, Annoying, and no one wants to do it. And apart from several other minor features, and of course the overall look of the motherboard, those are the main differences. Now, right now, the Pro Z790P is going to set you back around $240, which is around $30 cheaper than the Pro A. And if you want to make this motherboard even cheaper, there's even a non-Wi-Fi variant also available. And seeing how you can get this motherboard in both DDR4 and DDR5 flavors, this thing offers you a lot of flexibility. It allows you to build up your entire PC for less, while not really removing much of anything that most people even care about. So if you want to build your Intel 13th gen based PC for even less, then this is a great option. Though again, seeing how you can get some Z690 boards for even less, and they have pretty much also the same features, well, I'd still be very wary about going Z790 at all, unless you can find an amazing deal. But if you want to buy this motherboard yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. And if you want to help support the kind of work we do here, then make sure to check out our Patreon, which is also down in the video description below. Look how helpful I am in providing all the links down there. Because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bardish Welcome, Mike Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much for truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.